Hey, we have a problem on the board from MIT Integration B 2022. This is problem number 15 from the qualifying exam. We've got the integral of tan to the fourth x secant cubed x plus tan squared x secant to the fifth x dx. A couple things that I'm noticing. The big one is that we have addition. So when there's an when there's addition, that's kind of an indicator. It, I mean, they might just want you to split it into two integrals, but it might also be the reverse of the product rule. And then another thing I'm looking at is kind of how similar the functions are on both sides of the addition. There's definitely a certain similarity here. So again, I'm thinking the product rule. So the product rule tells us if we want the derivative of two functions, f and g, we're just gonna get the derivative of the first one times the second one plus the first one times the derivative of the second one. And so again, going back to, could these be two derivatives? Because if that's the case, then when we take the integral of this, right, we're just gonna be left with f times g. So when I was doing this problem, I had this guess that the solution must be something in this kind of format, where we don't know what this a, m, and n are. And then what we can do is to differentiate it, set it equal to our integral, and then solve for these constants. So let's try that and see how it goes. Okay, so we'll just differentiate this, and of course we'll use the product rule, because that's what this is all about. So we'll differentiate the first function and we're gonna have, we'll, we're just using the power rule there. So we're bringing the m out, tan m minus one x. And then we need the um, chain rule. So we need the, the integral of this, which is a secant squared x. Um, and then we're just gonna keep our secant. And then for our second term, we're gonna be keeping our, we'll have our a, we'll, have our, we'll keep our tan m x. Then for our derivative of the secant term, we're gonna have times n secant n minus one x. And then chain rule derivative of the secant is gonna be secant x tan x. Okay, so now I'm just gonna clean this up and combine like terms. Okay, so now we have this kind of long looking expression that we wanna to equate to our integral and we can just try to line it up. So let's just look at our secant terms first. It looks like here n is three if n is three over here, we get our five. So that makes sense. So I'm thinking n equals three. I mean, we could do a system of equations, but it's not really worth it because this is a pretty simple system. And then our m here, like looks like m is three, we get four. If m is three here, we get two. So I'm saying my, n, my m value is three. And then also for an a value, like, okay, how do we, if, if our m is three, and our n is three, how do we, what does our a need to be to be one? It's just one third, so our a value must be one third in order for us to get um, back to one as a coefficient here. What we can do is we can just take these values that we found, we have our n, our m, our a, we found everything we need to plug back into this equation here. So let's rewrite this. We're gonna have our a value as one third, our tan, m is three, our secant n is three, and then we're just gonna need a plus c, and we're done, that's it. So we could go back and verify, but we just, we did it all, right? So if we, if we differentiate that, we're gonna get back to our integral. And so, like I said, a little hard for me to explain it, but that's how we go in use the product rule in reverse to get back to our integral, so that was, MIT problem number 15.